What's up, Epic Readers? I'm Jesse from the YouTube channel, Jesse the Reader, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Epic Adaptations, the series here on Epic Reads where I keep you in the know on all the recent YA book to movie and book to TV adaptation news. We have a jam-packed episode today full of adaptation news, which is super exciting. So grab some coffee or grab some tea, sit back and enjoy the ride. First up, we have a bit of news that I find to be really unique, and that's because I feel like I've never covered a YA animated series. The Jim Henson Company has plans to partner with the creator of the Lore Olympus webtoon in hopes of turning it into a full-on animated series. This is a YA romance webtoon created by Rachel Smythe, which you can read free, 100% free, online. The story is a bit of a revamp on Greek mythology, and it kind of follows gods if they were put in our shoes, but they're gods still. They're just dealing with issues that we deal with. Next, we have the Let It Snow book-to-movie adaptation, which will be dropping on Netflix on November 8th. Now, I talked about this book being picked up to be turned into a movie a while back, but it somehow went completely completely under my radar that they had casted it, that they filmed it, and that it's now being dropped on Netflix. Like, what? Where have I been? How did I miss all of this? I feel like I might have avoided it on accident because this is very much so a Christmassy movie, and I avoid all things Christmas until late November. Let me have my Halloween candy, let me have my Thanksgiving dinner, and then we can start jingling those bells and letting it snow. Pun intended. The trailer has dropped for this and it looks so good. It just looks like it's gonna be such a fun holiday romantic comedy, which we don't really have a lot of that under the YA movie category, so this will be a nice addition to the small list of the ones that we have already. Now, I haven't read this book yet because I am a reader sinner, but that trailer made me want to read this book ASAP. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have read this book yet and your thoughts on it. Speaking of Netflix adaptations, the book Cursed by Thomas Wheeler has been picked up by Netflix to be turned into a series. Filming is currently underway, and we already have a pretty legit cast for this series. Like, I'm excited about it because of the cast alone. Katherine Langford has been cast as the lead, which you probably know her from a pretty popular YA to series adaptation, and that is 13 Reasons Why. Daniel Sherman has also joined the cast, whom you may or may not know from Teen Wolf, so the casting is already pretty top-notch. Cursed is actually a reimagining of King Arthur. We follow our lead, Nimue, who is on a quest to find Merlin and deliver to him the ancient sword. There's an official Instagram for the series, and they've been posting lots of behind-the-scenes pictures, so we have a bit of a peek of what's to come, and I'm liking what I've seen so far. And by that, I mean costumes, because that's all I've seen so so far. But hey, they look great. I'm really looking forward to seeing this one hit the streaming service. Speaking of Netflix again, of course I have more book to streaming Netflix news because apparently Netflix is picking up YA books left and right, which I'm okay with it because they are doing a great job of adapting these books. They recently picked up the book Dash and Lily's Book of Dares to turn it into a series. The story follows Dash and Lily, obviously. Dash finds Lily's notebook full of dares in a bookstore and begins to take on her challenges. Together they end up solely interacting through the notebook, passing it back and forth in different areas in New York, and eventually their stories begin to intertwine as they take on each other's challenges. This is one of my favorite books, so my excitement levels might be a little bit biased, but as I read this one, I could see it as a movie or a series, and that's what we're getting. We're getting it as a series. Oh yes! Consider me ridiculously happy over here. Filming has already begun in New York, and we're set to get this series in 2020. I imagine fall time, winter time, as it is a bit of a holiday-themed book. Austin Abram will be playing Dash, while Midori Francis will be playing Lily. I'll do my best to keep you guys updated the more information that I get on this series. Next, we have a slew of books that have been picked up to be turned into movies or series, so let's go over all of them. First up, we have a book that isn't even released yet, and it's already been picked up to be turned into a movie. That must be the best feeling for an author when their book hasn't even been birthed out into the world, and there's already a bit of movie interest in it. I don't know about y'all, but I'd be losing my cool. This book is actually being written by a K-pop star, and that is Jessica Jung. Jessica used to be a part of the group Girls' Generation and has since ventured out into solo endeavors. The reason I even mention her background is because that's kind of what the book is going to be about. In the book, we explore a girl who is training to become a K-pop artist. I think that this is going to be a really interesting book because if you know K-pop at all, you know that this is an industry full of really interesting stories. And I can't wait to see everything that's explored in this book. And I really hope that it is turned into a Netflix series or a movie at some point because I would really like to see that, even though I haven't even read the source material. I already want the movie adaptation. I think the K-pop trash side of me is showing right now. With all that being said, the book is called Shine and it will be released in 2020. What's really exciting for me about this possible adaptation for this book is the fact that it's being developed by Ace Entertainment who had their hands in one of my all-time favorite book to movie adaptations, that being to all the boys I've loved before. So my hopes are pretty high for this one. Next up, the book Keep This to Yourself by Tom Ryan has been picked up for TV by Pull the Pin Productions. This story is about a group of lifelong friends 
friends who lose one of their own to a serial killer. And we follow a boy whom a year later becomes completely obsessed in trying to track down this serial killer. We love a good YA murder mystery. This one sounds like it can make for an intense TV series and I am here for it. Like sign me the heck up. The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson has been picked up by Apple to be turned into a movie. That's right, the people behind MacBooks, iPhones, iPads, they're teaming up with a production company to make this movie. The story follows a girl as she deals with the loss of her sister. Jandy Nelson is reported to be heavily involved in the project, which is a win for us. We love seeing authors being involved in adaptations and it needs to be happening more often. It just means that it'll be that much closer to the original story. Finally, to wrap up this episode, I'm gonna shout out some release dates for you guys. That way you get them in your minds and you don't forget about these YA adaptations that are coming out. The first one is already out, so after you finish this episode, you can hop on over to Hulu and stream Looking for Alaska by John Green. The new Golden Compass series is set to start premiering on November 3rd on HBO, and Let It Snow will be hitting Netflix on November 8th. So don't forget to check out those adaptations. That's all the YA adaptation news I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments all your thoughts on today's episode. Which adaptation are you most looking forward to? Are you looking forward to Let It Snow? Are you looking forward to Dash and Lily's Book of Dares? Curse, the sky is everywhere. Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next month with another episode of Epic Adaptations. Okay.